good morning. Welcome to the Women in Leadership, Body, Mind, Soul, and Business podcast. I'm Charlie. And I'm Heather. Together, we are working to connect women in leadership and business to build relationships, empower each other, improving the health and wellness of our community, body, mind, and soul, sharing the heart and souls of who we are and what we are doing. Today's special guest is Leslie Rochelle. Thank you, Russ, Leslie. Yeah, thank you, Leslie, for joining us. Leslie is the founder and CEO of Leslie Rochelle Coaching and Consulting. Um, she is a coach of um, various sorts. So, Leslie, why don't you take a few minutes, tell us a, a little bit about who you are and what you do, and we'll get to the heart of um, what you're doing. Sounds great. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you very much. Leslie Rochelle Coaching and Consulting. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, first of all, um, thank you for having me. I'm really excited to be here. So this is this is, this is awesome. Yes. Um, uh, as you mentioned, um, of um, Leslie Rochelle Coaching and Consulting, and I'm a leadership coach and mentor with a specific focus on the new and emerging leader. And this was really my my passion and my desire to go help that earlier version. Of right. Mm -hmm my year those many years ago yeah 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 that's where that passion comes from all right so um you have worked in business um for a long long time and you started doing coaching um how how long ago i mean um i <laughs> I, I understand like that part of your job life, but, is yeah. coaching, right? But on a on a, like a separate level, like do you know what I mean? Yeah, just this past year uh, is when I when I started, and really that came from a um, you know we get these whispers of there's little things. Mm -hmm things that you should be doing just the events of this year were really that uh, that thrust that the universe is saying okay now please pay attention um, to me and so I, I decided that uh, this was the year that I was going to start my um, coaching and mentoring practice yeah and you recently launched your website and it is lesslierochelle.com and it um, is uh, you know kind of like a really good starting point for you in launching this new business and just really diving into the coaching aspect of your life and just really being able to build and grow that. So congratulations on launching your website. Yeah. Thank <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It was a, um, how do I put that? Um, there was a lot of lessons learned with creating mm -hmm. the website. So thank Goodness, I have an amazing BA uh, virtual assistant that was able to help put all the pieces uh, together for me uh, to, mm -hmm. to get that. Okay. So, um, to get that. with that, leads us right into our, our topic conversation of the it week does. is super great. <laughs> uh, suffering as opportunity. So, part of what you do as a coach is you look at something that somebody is struggling with and you help them turn that into an opportunity, which is, it's kind of serendipitous that this is our topic for the week is do the um, suffering as opportunity because, you know, we're all trying to learn and grow from each other's experiences and what we've learned along the way. So what are a couple of things that you learned along the way, um, building your website and um, how you used it as an opportunity? The first thing is really getting clear on what I wanted it um, to to serve, like how I wanted it to serve the the client them themselves, um, versus it just being oh it's really pretty. Mm -hmm. This is was really a matter of trying to hone that in, get some feedback to decide um, you know what I what I did want that um, to look like, and it's it, it is really interesting that you're speaking about um, obstacles uh, and. An opportunity 2019 I co-authored um, obstacles equals opportunity volume two so synchronicities oh, there we go right? <laughs> yeah Excellent. and that was really a passion of 
Yeah, it was just wanted to do. I kind of slid in right before deadline and uh, decided to contribute a chapter to that book. Yeah, ah, that's that obstacles great. of opportunity. Obstacles. Yeah, obstacles equal opportunities. Volume. Volume two. Okay. Volume two. Awesome. Okay, I wrote that down. I'm gonna have to read that. Um, adding to my reading list. Oh my gosh. So um, let's let's take a minute. And just, um, wow, <laughs> I'm blown away. Um, I have a I, note here that I want to share. Um, when I was talking with you um, and talking about your mission and your goal for, for like the younger version of you working in a male-dominated business, um, really like how to show up as your authentic self was powerfully reclaiming your leader within. That, that is what I got from our conversation before. And I think that that's kind of what you, like the heart of what you do, right? It, it really is. Um, when we can identify who we are as a human being, it allows us to create that strong foundation, mm -hmm. right? We build everything off of that um, foundation. So I like to go back. There's... Um, you know, there's a lot of leadership type of tactical, here's how you have a conversation type of programs. And what I decided to do was really to take it back one, the self-discovery of the leader themselves to mm -hmm. identify who they are, where do they want to go? Um, you know, what type of a leader do they, do they want to be authentically to themselves? Um, mm -hmm. Cause then that uh, will, will, will definitely really, um, leaning into that leadership role. Nice. Awesome. So um, can you tell us uh, experiences you had coaching? Maybe you were coaching somebody else and you just had this like aha moment, like, because we learn just as much from each other as we do, you know, trying to teach one another, right? So what was a big aha moment for you? Probably one of the biggest aha moments that I had for myself, um, you know, getting into this space was asking for help, mm -hmm. right? Getting mm -hmm. to that point of utter and complete depletion mm -hmm. of self. I need help. Like mm -hmm. there's just something that's not working here and something has to change. And, and, and really understanding that it's, it's nothing external that can change. It really has to all come from within each and every one of us. Mm -hmm. Um, have that we have that power over ourselves to make those changes absolutely oh my gosh yes oh. yes yes claiming that power I love it yes yeah. yeah so reclaiming your power reclaiming your passions and it's okay to ask for help I love that you have a VA like I I love I love that I am I, I'm part, I, I'm a, a virtual expert myself and um, I love the community and the access to the amount of things you had no idea that mm -hmm. people are experts in like you don't have to be the expert in your website you don't have to be the expert in your bookkeeping you know you don't you have, have to be. be the expert in all the things it's okay to ask for help for those areas where you struggle which is why we brought B on as a producer because she can do all the behind the scenes stuff over there and post all the links and um, everything else. And while we can do what we do and it really lightens our load a lot. So she's That's taken right. over a lot of the social media and um, background stuff here while we're doing our filming and video editing. And that's not a skill set I have, you know, that creative, um, social media skill set is not one that I have. And I'm more than happy to have her take that over because that's where she shines. And which is something that we do as leaders and professionals in business is we, we try to find the right people to fit our needs, right? And our, what we want. And we want to hire the people that that's their thing. That's their passion. And um, you, because we can build and uplift them while they're also taking weight off of our shoulders. 
that's right. So that's um, you know, self. It is. It is part of self care. It um, is. You know, it's not self. What's that? Care is not all um, Epsom salts bath, which is are are nice. Like, don't get me wrong, they're really nice. But, <laughs> we you know, love it. Like, salt bath, but... <laughs> a lot of them really. Yeah, <laughs> we're not hating on it. <laughs> but... <laughs> but no, not definitely not hating mm -hmm. on it. But a lot of asking for what you need, asking for what you want, asking for what you desire, mm -hmm. and really do leave um, the the people who are the subject matter expertise in their area to help you higher to your weakness is what I. Uh, one of the philosophies that we already have, I need to identify what's missing, and then we're going to hire towards that, which then goes to all of your diversity and inclusion as well. From yeah, the team absolutely. Aspect, yeah. Yeah, because you want to um, provide a good, stable place where people want to go to work or, you know, virtual work or whatever work looks like for you these days. It all looks different for everybody. And um, just really build them to shine where they're at. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's team members, yeah, team, team, yeah. <laughs> yeah, all of your team members, you know, they have some very big desires. They desire to be seen, heard, valued and mm -hmm. uh, have a sense of belonging and have that shared sense of purpose when you can bring all of that into one space you've created your dream team yeah yeah and that's yeah. exactly what we're yeah. what we're shooting for as we build and grow uh this podcast but it's also something that we want to make sure other business leaders other um you know entrepreneurs are aware of that building a team in a very specific way is important but it doesn't have to be any one person's specific way either it could be done your way but then also you know learning and growing and really building that community um where people are empowered and they feel successful and they feel joyful joyful and they just they, really want it's all about to be the, at work yeah those are the employees that one are going to be loyal to you and your business mm -hmm. um and they're going to also you take care of them they're going to take care of you they're going to work their butts off right if they're feeling good and joyful and uplifted when they go to work every day they're going to stay there for a long time. Right. Right. And they're going to be loyal to you and your brand and your company. And they're going to tell other people about it. And it's just going to grow naturally from there just by making sure that the people in your team are taken care of. That's right. They really just want to be in an authentic way. Mm -hmm. um, you will get more than they're hundred percent, if that makes sense. Like you're going to yes. be able to, you're going to be able to bring out the best in them. Mm -hmm. um, create that team atmosphere where you say, okay, hey, this is not about individual results. This is about team results. How can we um, work together as a team to achieve this this common goal and allow all the ideas to flow? Mm -hmm. Go in versus remove any silos and create a real team environment. Oh, nice. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So much. Yes. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah. Sil silos, silos will kill innovation faster than any things that I had to do uh, mm -hmm. when I um, got into my, uh, into that larger leadership role is I had to break down all of the um, competitiveness and all the silos within the team and then build them back up as a team. And it took Time, et cetera, et cetera, that really, that really go along with it. Yeah, well. it does take time, especially with your, like, if you're building a team from scratch, it's, a, I think, um, not necessarily easier, it's just different than if you step into a team and is like, okay, this isn't working. How can we fix it? Look at the suffering as opportunity, <laughs> right? What's not working? What can we do to change it and make it better? 
Um, and so if we look at the suffering, we created the opportunity to make it better, right? And we build from there. And that is how we keep our employees, our team, our um, supporters, like empowered, uplifted, and engaged, you know, because exactly. they want to be seen, heard, and appreciated, right? Value, yeah. Yeah, value. value. And being able I was to like, what else did you say? I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I think that was all really good. Yes. And there's a difference between being appreciated yeah. and, be and being valued. It's different. It is. That's right. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. When, when you're going to get so much more buy in from people that, you know, um, as they're looking for some ideas, you never ever give yours first, right? If you do right. that, you end up cutting off all that conversation. So you're going to engage your team, the quiet ones, the ones that um, like to speak up a little bit more to mm -hmm. really understand what some of those ideas mm -hmm are because times before it gets to to back to you on it right and a lot of times the other people on your team are going to have better ideas than what you have or they can improve on those ideas or right. you know tweak them a little bit so that you know it fits a, a broader spectrum or what, whatever the case may be it's important to listen to your team and be like okay you see this is a problem how can we fix this or they have an idea to make something better again. They see us suffering. They built the opportunity and now they're presenting it to you. And, um, you know, it nine times out of 10, it their idea or their input into whatever it is project you're doing um, by listening to them and by, um, you know, maybe trying their idea, like, okay, I like what you're saying. Let's give it a try and see how it works. And then, you know, go from there, you know, because you can always tweak things. We're always tweaking things. We're always trying hey, to I make things that, a little better. Um, That's in, right. in um, the book, on, on the one where she, I just finished. Um, Untamed. Untamed. She was talking about how she, uh, <clears throat> stopped planning things like so minutely and decided to to let the family lead some of the risk and 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 gosh everyone was happier you know like yeah. we were having fun and nobody died and you know it's just like she released the reins and uh, you know the whole family kind of relaxed together so I thought that was an interesting correlation to what you're saying is like if you're holding on so so tight Mm -hmm. Maybe you need to relinquish some of that control, and that get that can be part of the self care we were talking about. Like, you know, when you hit that burnout point, well, why did we get to the burnout? Like, what, how how do we not get there again? Mm -hmm. That's I mean, that, that suffering is opportunity, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> how do we not get burnt out again? That's right. Yeah. So Leslie, um, coming to me what. Yeah, sorry, go ahead. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to uh, talk over you. Go ahead. No, all good. Okay. I was just um, saying, I'm, I'm... Um, if somebody were to come to you for a consultation, a coaching session, what would that look like for them? What that looks like for them is we really, what I, what I do is, I'm not about that to where you'd like to be. Um, and that is really digging in and understanding where you're currently at. So I always meet my clients where they're, where they're at right now to identify what's the, the challenge that they're facing um, mm -hmm. so that we can help them. Um, we can, depending upon, you know, the, the gravity of the, the transformation that they would like to make uh, really depends on our, on our course of action there. But I provide exclusive one-on-one um, -on -one. Uh, mm -hmm. coaching and mentoring services and it's just a matter of coaching that person to find their own solutions and sometimes it's just giving them that solution depending upon what the situation actually looks like at that time yes yeah start where they're at and build from there right that's correct yeah um 
can client, what are some different ways that clients can meet with you? Do you do uh, phone consultations, Zoom? You know, what is your, your primary method of meeting with a client? My primary method of, uh, and, and it's because I like to be able to see my clients. When we're, when we are having those conversations, it is that intimate relationship mm -hmm. that we are going to be get digging deep into mm -hmm. uh, some of the challenges that they have. So having that face to face is, uh, is, is incredible and you know we can't do a lot of things together this is this is the the next best thing I suppose to it right yeah absolutely, right. absolutely. yeah and I, I and I love zoom for that because we use zoom for most of our podcasts most of our meetings we're not in a, a world that is comfortable um with in-person things right now and um that's okay you know because we have technology we, that brings us together pivot like this right like we had snow Monday morning and that didn't stop That's us right. from getting up and doing our things and mm -hmm. connecting. And, mm -hmm. you know, we popped on Zoom and we're like, hey, we did our Monday morning like, on Zoom. Yeah. how do we, you know, how do we keep moving forward instead of being stuck? Mm -hmm. Always. Always. It's always good to see that. Um, that allows for a greater reach and a bigger impact, right? It does. It does. It does allow for a greater reach and a bigger impact, which is um, kind of, our hope, our our goal, <laughs> our passion is where we're just, be, we're stepping into a bigger reach, and bigger. Yeah, definitely for sure. Um, well, let's go ahead and go into today's meditation. What do you think? So um, today's meditation is from Meditations from the Mat. You can go into this book one meditation at a time. Um, and. So let's just uh, settle into our seats, sit up nice and tall, both feet on the floor, legs uncrossed. If you're driving, do not close your eyes. If you are safe and comfortable, you can do so. Let's take a few nice, slow, deep breaths in through the nose, calming the body, calming the mind. Exhale, nice and slow. Inhale, deep breath. And exhale, slow. Today's meditation is day 17. Let us not love in word or speech, but in deed and in truth. It's actually John 3, 18. The first four limbs of yoga, the yamas, the niyamas, asana, and pranayama are love in action. The yamas and the niyamas specifically are love in deed and truth. Tomorrow, we will embark on the never-ending journey of the yamas, the first limb of yoga, the necessary restraints of the spiritual life. The yamas and niyamas reflect the yogic balance of abhyasa or practice and varyada, non-attachment. The yamas are those renunciations to be embraced and the niyamas are practices to be cultivated. Together, they lay the foundation for effective living. As you prepare for this journey, it is important to remember that we are simply eliminating blocks to our progress and cultivating the energy we need for our spiritual growth. This is not a test and you will not be found lacking. The ashram where I fell in love with yoga was led by a wonderful yogi, an accomplished man who had practiced yoga for most of his life. Unfortunately, he brought the community he had built crashing down around him, the result of not adhering to a number of the yamas. As I see it, this man did not fail, nor was he able to avoid the painful consequences of his actions. He did hurt many people, but he did not fail. He is alive today. He continues to practice yoga, and he continues to have the opportunity to learn from his past mistakes and to make better choices as implied in the yamas and the yamas. The yamas and the yamas would not be needed if we, the entire human race, did not already have the propensity to violate them. Paradoxically, the yamas and the yamas would not be possible to uphold if our true essence were not love. If love were not our aim and our home, to practice the yamas and the yamas, we must find within ourselves the maturity to tolerate 
the duality of our nature, while allowing the possibility of victory over our darkness. Love is not a thought, it is an action. And each loving action that we take infuses us with more energy for loving action in the future. I'm gonna read that last part again. Each loving action that we take infuses us with more energy for loving action in the future. Again, we're talking about opportunity is suffering or suffering is opportunity rather, not the other way around. <laughs> and so Different when we approach things <laughs> from the looking at suffering as an opportunity, we have the opportunity to change that suffering by adding love in some way. And what that looks like in different <laughs> aspects, right? I remember texting you a few weeks ago. I went to the laundromat and this lady put her stuff in the machine right next, like my stuff was right there. And I was like, I'm going to come from love and not body check her to get this machine. <laughs> like, I was so like, <laughs> A little frustrated she was having a bad day too <laughs> like, like as it came you know as the you know the the time that the laundromat went on i got to see that she was having a horrible day too like i was like she needed the machine as bad as i did like it's fine it's fine right? you add love to it and you know anything you add love to is not failing you know um Using suffering as opportunity to learn from your mistakes is not failing. And and failing isn't a bad word either. No, it's not. Fail forward. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's it's the opportunity to learn something, right? right. Like we didn't learn anything without the failing. Mm -hmm. And we're we're learning and failing and tried. growing every day. Mm -hmm. It means we try, right? We did something, right? Like we would still be the same place if we did nothing. Yeah. We showed up. So speaking of showing up. Showed up. And there's lessons, there's <laughs> lessons and yeah, sorry, there's lessons and blessings and everything. Um, and when we don't, when we don't pay attention to those um, little whispers, uh, that lesson will keep coming back at you in different ways until you've learned your lesson. Yes. Ooh, yes. And I have experienced that. Okay. The universe has a way of being like, nope, you didn't do that right. Let's try again. Nope. Let's try again. And you keep hitting that brick wall and you're like, ah, why is this not working? Well, because the universe is telling you no. <laughs> or you can change it up. You or something. need to come from a place of love for yourself, yes. for others. Like, uh -huh. Yeah. And, passion. you know, just yesterday, um, we were, talking and you know we are so excited to get up and do this every day that there's so much joy in it because every day we get to put a little bit more love into the world and every day we get to you know add to that right mm -hmm. and yeah. it's just really brings a lot of joy um to be able to do that and it, it's you know, we're really passionate about sharing our knowledge and our love with others so that you can use our stuff for, as an opportunity for yourself, right? Exactly. Yes, yes, absolutely. Learn, learn, do teach. Learn, do teach. And speaking of teaching, we've got a whole learn bunch of teach. stuff coming up. What do we got going on? Well, this week we are going to be live on Friday again, which is great, but it's also the last day of the year. So excited. New Year's Eve. So we've been um, putting together um, a goal setting podcast with uh, our amazing friend and soul branding specialist, Ali Jean. And then we'll be back um, after our, our normal recording time at this time of the day. We'll be back a couple hours later to do a live party. Um, let's end our working week uh, um, on a positive note. So we put and it's a Friday. Some fun, so some trivia, you know put on a little glitter let's let's get on live and have a little bit of fun mm -hmm. so excited and then 
we're not going to skip a beat, man. On Monday, January 3rd, kicks off the Women Empowering Women E Summit. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm making it's extra noise. Live on, in the chair. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's going to be live on Facebook and YouTube. It's hosted by Allie Jean. Yours truly will be guest speakers. So make sure you join. Come join us as we hit it hard for 2022. Registration is now open. So go save your seats. Um, it is virtual. Register today it's and it is free. free. She really wants to use this as an opportunity to um, empower each other to show up. What is the word she uses? I love it. Authentically. No, uh, the, the, uh, not the authentic one, the um, zone of genius. Zone In of each genius. of our mm-hmm. own zones of genius. So I love that. I love the her wording. I was like, it's foreign to me. So I have to stop and think about it. I like zone of genius. I love it. So uh, be sure to like and follow us on social media for all the latest updates and information on our upcoming events. We have an amazing year planned and you don't want to miss it. So if you are having some energy issues or you are ready to do something different with your health, um, could give me a shout out because we will work on whatever is good for you. I'm working right now with um, Globally and we are working um, on um, starting off the new year in a really positive way. Mm-hmm. Um, we've already been doing um, better health changes for ourselves or so like, how do we help empower other people to continue doing that? So let me know. I'm very excited about that. That's not even everything, is it? Um, <laughs> oh, this is our last week for this our, is our last week. Our current um cause of the quarter. Who cause thinks? of the quarter? Because it's the last week of the quarter. Yes. Last week of the year. Let's get this going. We're doing good. Yeah. So if you guys would like to donate, uh, you can donate directly to your local food bank or you can um Donate to the podcast and we'll send it to the food bank. Just mark it as a food bank donation. We'll be happy to do that on your behalf. Um, And all the information is in the links. And um, if you're interested in being part of our podcast, email us at womeninleadershipbsnb at gmail.com. We're looking for sponsors, guests, and more. So go ahead and reach out to us if you have something that you would like to contribute, you know. And... um, I'd love to thank today's sponsors, Hema Forge Virtual Gaming. We love our equipment. Thank you so, so, so much. Studio Glam 5, thank you so much, Alex, over there. Mm -hmm. Um, And our today's guest, Leslie Rochelle. Leslie, thank you so much for joining us today. It was a pleasure having you, and we hope to have you back again someday soon. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much. I really enjoyed today. Thank you very much. The Women in Leadership Body, Mind, Soul, Business podcast thanks you. Without you, this community wouldn't be the same. Join us next time. Namaste. Namaste.